you go from that trying to just make it in the business to getting a phone call from one of the biggest names in the business, <laughs> right? It so, was a text. Oh, it was it's a text. text. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, don't forget. You know, I'm old school. Yeah. Taylor Swift, though, <laughs> sends you this text. Yeah. What was that about? So we had met a week prior. I was opening, not really opening her show. I was playing in the parking lot outside of her stadium tour. Oh, okay. <laughs> so well, that's sort of opening. It's okay. fine. I told my mom I was opening for her. And you did not, did you? I did. Oh my and, she, and then she, then she found out. She didn't really get it. But um, I met Taylor that night. I told my manager that I wanted to meet Taylor, and he knew her manager, so they organized it. And we connected, and we bonded. And a couple days later, she texted me and asked, like, hey, would you want to come perform on stage with me on Saturday? Wow. Yeah. That's like a dream come true. It was absolutely a dream come true. I, there were several things that I visualized when things were really tough. So what you need to understand is a lot of people don't know this about my story. A year ago, I had none of this going on. I have been struggling and trying to make it for 12 years and playing you know, all over coffee shops and small bars and cover gigs. So none of this was happening at the time. So one of the things that I would do is visualize things that I wanted to happen. And one of the things I visualized was a stadium full of people like throwing their fists in the air. And when it happened with Taylor, like with those lights, it really meant the world to me. You know, I don't know if I have words to describe how grateful I was. I think you just put it beautifully <laughs> into words. And I do actually believe in that. People have talked about that. If you yeah. visualize it and you believe it enough, it's just possible that it'll happen.